Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Do you like my nail setup? I'm currently at my studio. Now, seeing that I haven't posted up a tutorial in a while and Christmas is just around the corner, a lot of you guys have been asking to see some festive nail art designs you can do. So here is a tutorial on 10 easy nail art designs. This is what they look like. So if you wanna see how to recreate these at home, keep on watching. I'm starting off with a gel base coat from Angel Pro. I like this base coat because I don't need to buff my nail plate or use Bonder with it. So I'm going to apply that to all my nails and then cure under the light for 60 seconds. Next, I'm going to apply Milky White from Kiara Sky. This is a little bit of like a transparent white and I'm going to apply one layer of this on three of my nails. For my other nails, I'm going to apply this nice nude shade from Cutie Jelly called Smiling Alpaca. How cute is the name? This gel is actually an all-in-one gel polish. It has a base color and top coat all in one. So it's great for DIY gel nails at home. For this, I'm going to apply two coats of it and then cure under the light for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to paint a matte coat over the nude nails. This one is from Angel Pro again and it's called Speedy Matte. Okay, now I'm ready to start with the first design, which is a sweater nail art design. For this, you're going to need the same gel polish you use. So for me, that's the nude color. You're also going to need clear acrylic powder and a small fine art brush. If you don't have one of these, you can easily find one at the art stores. A small fine paintbrush will do. So I'm going to begin by painting a line down the side of my nail. I want this line to be a little raised. So make sure you have enough product on your brush. Then I'm going to paint another line on the other side of my nail. For the center part, I'm going to create the knitted sweater pattern by painting on a little stretched out S shape and then repeating that down the nail. Then for the small space on the side of my nails, I'm going to just dab on small dots and I'm going to do this on both sides. Now, once you're happy with the pattern, do not cure it yet. We're going to pour acrylic powder on top and for this, you want to use a clear powder. So I'm just scooping it up and pouring it on top, making sure it covers my entire nail. You can also dip your finger in the acrylic powder, but I find that when you do this, sometimes it does move the pattern on top. So I prefer pouring it over. Then you want to tap off any of the excess powder and cure under the light for 60 seconds. Once it's set, you can now dust off any remaining powder and ta-da! You've got sweater nails. Moving on to the next nail, I'm going to create a design using these nail decorations. So there's no drawing involved for this. Now with these, you can find them online and they're pretty cheap. They usually come in packs. So you can check places like eBay, Wish, YesStyle. There's plenty of them online. And now to secure the stones, I'm gonna use a thicker gel. I usually use this one from Pre-Gel. It's called the Bijou Gel. But I recently got this other gel from D-Gel. It's called Easy Fix and it comes in a pen. It has a small nozzle at the end. And on the other side, it has a little mini light for curing. So I'm actually gonna use that one today. So first I'm going to cut off a little bit of that chain just so that it fits on my nail. And I'm just going to squeeze out some of that stone gel on top. I'm going to pop the chain over that and position it so it sits diagonally across my nail. I'm going to do the same with the next chain but I'm going to run it the other way instead. Once I'm happy with the position I'm going to cure that with that little light at the end. This is really handy for just locking and securing the stones in place. You still need to cure under the UV lamp for a full 60 seconds but this just holds it in place whilst you're still working on the nail. Next I'm going to to squeeze out small dots of the gel and place the other stones on top. 
You can literally use whatever stone you want. The idea is to make it look like little Christmas decorations. I'm going to flash cure the stones into place. And this is pretty much what the design looks like. I'm yet to apply top coat over this, but I'll do that all at the end once I'm done with all my nails. For the next design, I'm going to combine the sweater technique and the nail stones to create another variation. This time I'm leaving a small space at the top and starting the line a little bit lower. In the center, I'm gonna use a dotting tool to place two small dots side by side. These are going to form little love hearts in the center and to do that I'm gonna draw a V to connect the two dots together and then fill in the space in between I'm going to repeat this and create another love heart and just half a love heart at the edge because it doesn't fit. Also, I'm gonna pop some dots on the sides of my nail. Now, same as before, you don't wanna cure the nail yet. We still need to pour acrylic powder on top, making sure that it's all covered before you cure. Once that's done, you can brush off the excess powder. Then I'm going to stick on some small pearls and gold stones to create a little chain design at the top. And I am done with this nail. Let's move on to my pinky. Using some gold glitter art gel from T-Gel, I'm going to paint two lines down the nail. One's a little bit longer than the other. Then I'm going to pop on some stones and a small gold snowflake to give it that festive vibe. And of course, remember to cure that in place. This is a super easy and simple design you can do. For my thumb, I'm going to create a Christmas tree. So first I'm going to paint a triangle using some gold glitter from D-Gel. Then I'm going to pop on some different stones to create the tree decorations. And of course, making sure I have a little star on top of my tree. Now, as I was doing this now, I realized that it would probably look better if I painted my tree the other direction around so that when I look at my nails, it will be the right side up. But eh, it's okay. It still looks good this way around. But if you have your nails shaped in a round or coffin shape, definitely do it the other direction. So this is what my Christmas tree is looking like. You could do the same design with different colors, so have fun with it. Play around with the stones. Okay, so I have one hand done. Let's jazz up the other one. I'm going to paint on the solid colors first, so I'm going to use the same milky white as before. And this time for my accent nails, I want to use a different shade, so I'm picking this pale blue shade from D-Gel. I'm applying one coat of the Milky White and two coats of the Blue. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I really had no idea what design I was going to do on this hand. I spent a lot of time looking for inspo until I came across this Argyle sweater design. Now, at first glance, this might look like a really complicated design, but I promise it's not. To create this pattern, I'm going to use two extra colors, a solid white and a dark blue. With the dark blue, I'm going to draw the center diamond shape. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to mark out the corners and then pretty much connect the dots. If you do make any boo-boos, don't worry because you can use some alcohol or gel cleanser to wipe it away and clean it up. Now, this is important. Once you're happy with the diamond, flash cure it. It's like clicking save as on your work so you don't lose it. Then after that, you wanna create four more diamonds using the white. Now, I was really proud of myself after painting all this only to realize that I forgot to click record. Gah. Anyway, this part is a lot easier because you just need to align the edge with the blue diamond. Make sure you flash cure it and then we can add some glitter. So using the same art brush that I've been using throughout this tutorial, I'm going to draw diagonal lines through the middle of the diamonds. So I'm creating three all up and then you want to do the same on the opposite direction. FYI, I am painting this with my left hand so if I can do it, you can definitely do it. The trick is to use a liner brush that is a little bit longer. If you use a short one, it's actually going to be really hard to draw a stripe. So pick a long thin liner brush. So this is what my Argyle sweater design is looking like. It looks hard to do, but I promise it's a lot easier than it looks. Okay. This next design is much, much easier, I promise. You wanna grab a small nail rivet, like a circle one like this, 
Again, these can be found on eBay for like two, three dollars a pack. They're very inexpensive. So with these, they come flat and we need to add a little curve to them so that they sit well on our nail. So to do this, I'm gonna use the end of my brush to bend it slightly. You don't really need that much pressure because it's pretty pliable. Then I'm gonna use some gel to stick it onto my nail plate. Remember to flash cure, it's like clicking save as. Next, I'm gonna grab some glitter polish. I'm gonna use a red because that's very festive. Pop it in the circle and spread it out to the edge using the small art brush. Then next to it, I'm gonna pop a little diamante and then add two bits of gold chain and then pop another square stone so it looks like a Christmas bauble. I'm gonna add in a little bit of silver glitter because my Christmas decoration is looking a little bit flat. So I'm just gonna add that to the top of the ball and we're done with the design. Moving on, I found this super cute reindeer design on Instagram from Nail0408. So let me try to recreate it. First, I'm gonna use a nude art gel and a large dotting tool. I'm going to dot and swirl that color around to create the reindeer's head. Try to get a shape similar to this. Then with a beige color, I'm going to paint the mouth. To me, it sort of looks like an oval-ish shape. For the ears and horn, I'm using a darker brown gel color. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this part was the hardest part to paint because the little details are so small. But just take your time, it's all good. If you make any boo-boos, you can wipe it up with alcohol. For the insides of the ear, I'm just painting on a little beige, almost like a leaf shape. Then for the nose, I'm going back to my dotting tool and I'm just going to use it to create the red nose in the center. And of course, we can't forget about the two eyes. So here is my little Rudolph reindeer. It's looking super cute, right? I'm not gonna lie, that took a lot of brain power for me to do. So for my pinky nail, I'm gonna opt for something pretty simple. I'm just gonna do a gradient glitter. This is a great design to do if you already have some accent nails and you want a quick filler design to do on the remaining nails. So I'm just going to paint the glitter on the tip covering about one third of the nail. Then using my art brush, I'm just going to drag some of that glitter back and blend that gel towards my cuticle. Remember to flash cure that when you're happy with it. And then I'm going to apply another coat doing the same technique. I tried to stick some stars on this nail, but I realized my little stars were too big and so I just scrapped that idea. But you can always add on top of the gradient glitter. It's entirely up to you. Okay, onto my last nail, my thumb. I'm going to apply some stone gel in the center and I have this little pretty red crystal that I want to apply. I'm just going to try to position it to the center of my nails and flash cure it. Now I'm going to use a clear gel to overlay my designs. This one is from D-Gel. I really like the packaging of this. So it's a little bit of like a thicker consistency and it's going to help level out my nail design and secure the stones in place. So I'm going to apply this gel to the rest of my nails. And I forgot to film this part, but I added some extra gel on top of Rudolph's nose to make it 3D. And of course, I'm just gonna finish everything off with top coat to make it shiny. Alrighty, I am done with my nails. What do you guys think? Which design do you like the best? And which hand do you prefer? The nude with the sweater nails or the blue with the argyle pattern and the cute reindeer? I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. As always, I'll list the products that I use below. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications. And yeah, that is it for me, guys. I shall speak to you guys next time. Merry Christmas.